Bishop Tony, and Reverend Fathers, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I am sure, as priests like me, you have encountered young people who ask you, Father, have you ever been in love? The question comes with a mischievous smile because the misunderstanding is if you're a priest, it's either you have been so pure you never got into romantic love or you are so broken-hearted you have no more hope you became a priest. <laughs> so tomorrow is Valentine's Day and we are included tomorrow. We are included tomorrow as Lover's Day, but a different kind of love. And we are here celebrating, ahead of everybody, Day of St. Valentine, because we want to say that not all love leads to marriage, but all love should lead to God. Because when love does not lead to God, there is something wrong with it. Our presence this morning celebrating love is a sign to the world that love has many expressions and love has many faces. And the priesthood is another face of love. As marriage is a face of love, the priesthood is also another face of love. There are different ways of expressing love. For some people, they express their love by words of affirmation. They want to hear those words, I love you. They want to hear those words, you are so beautiful, you are so handsome, you are so good. Some people are generous with words, words of affirmation. And if words are your language of love, then you also enjoy hearing words. But some people are not comfortable with words. Some people are comfortable with gifts. That is why tomorrow, some people might not be able to say, I love you. But some people will buy gifts, chocolates, flowers, bags, whatever. Because gift giving is a good language of love. The third kind of love, the third kind of language of love is time. When you give time, you actually say I love you without saying it. That is why when you say I have no time, it could also mean I am not in love with you anymore. So, time is also another expression of love. Another expression of love is service. So, service. For married people, they work and work and work because they want to serve their sons and daughters. For some fathers, they even separate from the mother of their children and work out of the country. Service. Service is another expression of love. You may find yourself cooking. You may find yourself cleaning the house, tending the garden. All of these are services. You may find yourself bathing your loved one because the loved one is unable anymore. You may find yourself preparing food, washing the dishes, all of these are services, and all of these are languages of love. And the fifth language of love is touch. You know, hugging, you know, shaking hands, you know, kissing. All of these are gestures of love. Sometimes, people just touch, and they are not able to say, I love you. Some people just touch, even if they cannot get gifts. Some people just touch, and the touch gives vibrations that you are loved, and I'm giving myself to you. 
So there are different languages of love. And people who love are actually linguists because we express love in many different ways. It is not just romantic love. It is love itself. That is why when the Lord came to us, He revealed Himself as Word made flesh because Word is love. That is why when the Lord came to us, He came and lived in our time and space because giving time is love. That is why when the Lord wanted to show His love, He gave Himself to us as food because He wants to be touched and He wants to touch us. That is why the Lord came and washed our feet because service is another language of love. And the Lord gave us, gave us gifts and continued to give us gifts because gift giving is a language of love. So this morning, let us keep in mind that love has many languages. And if love has many languages, may we understand one another when we speak love. When we give you gifts, it is love. But when you do not give, when you do not receive a gift, listen to the words because there might be love in the words. If you do not receive the time, don't say you are not loved because the touch could be love, the service could be love, the food could be love. In other words, my dear brothers, today, on the eve of Valentine's, we say we are all lovers and we are still in love and we will never fall out of love because our love does not die. The one who has loved us and the one whom we really love is forever. The Lord knows our language. May we know His language. May we know one another's languages of love. And when we see love, may we recognize it as love. And may we recognize it as the Lord. It is the Lord. It is love.